So I know we've talked before about, about being an introvert, and I, I find it fascinating that there are so many like introvert performers. Like it, getting on stage seems to have like that that energy that you don't really get from most other things. Yeah. There's more of an observation in the question. You don't have to feel obligated to say more about that. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Hmm. All right, this has been a weird, jumpy interview. Uh, would you like to play a song for us? I certainly can. <laughs> Absolutely. Since you've got your fancy guitar over there. For sure. Uh, I've kind of been getting into this more conversational pop thing. I'm not sure if, like, my homies want me to play this song, but... Um, um, Huh? What are you playing? Like a new one. I don't want to give them away, but uh, it's just should I play kind of like you, or that? Because that's not gonna be on the new. One. Well, maybe it will be. I don't know if it is or not. What should I play? Don't play something like play like when I was a kid or something like that. You can also cool. play two, and I can cut one out. Yeah. Or maybe while we're young. Or while we're young. One or the other. Dina you know, in a hammock. Sort of. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're next to one. But this song is called While We're Young. It's super cute and fun and about being young forever, pretty much. And, uh, we're embracing the youth that we're in right now. Um, yeah. It's an ode to Jack Johnson. This is awesome. Yeah, Super fun. Um, yeah. 
I want to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> the uh, the song next to a hammock. Right next to a hammock on a beach. Um, that song is like the first song I've ever felt peace writing music. It's kind of weird. Like that's the first song that I just felt super relaxed, and I feel like the vibe parlays really well into like people that are hanging. You know, it's yeah. like yeah, chill song, chill vibes. So it's really cool, the power of music, how it just kind of like releases all the anxiety. Yeah, definitely. So have you, uh, and how did you feel before then, I guess, while you were writing? I'm always an anxious person. Yeah. So that's the, uh, that's the first time I've ever felt like super uh, uh, that way. It went, and then like my uh, writing started evolving into that direction a lot more recently, um, where I've been like very... Mm -hmm. Where I've been very, uh, you know, thrust into that like whole chill world. It's been really great. I don't know. It's it's just really taught me a lot about like how to navigate life. You know, not to be so worried all the time. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's just still answer that. Yeah, that's life. I think, but it's cool to to figure out them though. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening behind us. Battery. The battery's getting low on this one. Okay. Sound alarm. Okay, we'll talk real fast. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I just put so much pressure on myself, and then I just I had okay. to ask if I have something. Yeah. So I was recently listening to an, an interview with Dominic Monaghan, who was in Lord of the Rings and cool. Lost and, and other stuff, and now he has a, a show called Don of Wild Things, where he used to go out and. <laughs> Hanged out with animals. Pretty much. That's like, super funny. Have a listening for 10 cents. Whoa. Sure. Um, yeah. And so it made me wonder if there was, if you had a reality type TV show, um, what you would do on it? What I would do on it? I don't know. Yeah. I would really love it. Taylor's Adventures. Like, what would that be? I don't know. It's really funny. I probably don't really know what that would be like, but um, my friends would probably be able to picture that in a better way. But um, one thing I will spit back at you is that um, following along the Ben Rector thing, uh, I love that dude. He's so good at songwriting. Um, I really appreciate his whole thing. Um, but what I really appreciate about him is that he did a, a thing called uh, Ben in the Streets. It's two things like that. And so he goes around Nashville and he talks to people and he's like, so, um, you know, Ben Rector's new record is coming out. Everyone is talking about it. Everybody's, you know, really raving about it. They've been waiting for this day. Um, how do you feel about this record coming out? And like, you give the mic over, and he's like, Ben who? Ben Rector. Have you have you heard of him before? And he's like, No. But hopefully, you know, good luck to him. Like whoever he is, he's like, Thank you. Like, and he's just like, <laughs> That's very kind of. You know, that's good. If if you had if you had to tell Ben's fans. Ben, or Ben, one thing, what would you say? He's like, well, you know, get out there a little bit more. We'll see you, you know, maybe on the radio sometime. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, it's the best thing ever, though. I love that stuff. That's that, that's super funny. I think that Ben made that a really cool, like, kind of reality thing. I don't know. Going around and hanging out with people. And, but because you just have to watch the beginning of, like, the whole, um, the episodes, the two episodes that he has. He's just like, in a pea coat, and his scarf is like halfway up his face, and he has like a fedora on, like glasses. He's like, it's really hard to go out and like, you know, see the world because you just get so famous that. And he's like, he's like chopping onions while he's like talking like that. I don't know, he's just like stupid. <laughs> it's really dumb. Well, that sounds amazing. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there anything that. So the whole purpose of this show is to kind of just allow you to be able to share your story and let your fans get to know you a little bit better. Mm. Is there anything that you wish they knew about you, want to say to them, to your mom, your mom, future pet? My future pet. Um, yeah. I'm just excited about like the next, the music coming up. I feel like I've, I mean, every record should I should say this, but like, I feel really authentic right now with this record that's coming out. And it's really, there's some things that are coming out, you know, next year that are like really ugly side of me. 
Um, there's some things that are just su super cute and like fun and like you like we want to hug it out after listening. Um, there's some stuff that you just want to chill and like or some stuff that's you know. Um, I'm just, Zaria and I just got done listening to a song in the car and she's like, this is like the Brandon Flowers, the Killers, like kind of song. I'm like, that's weird. Uh, but it's just, it's all, it's all over the place. But it's all consistently my message. Like it's all consistently, me as a human being, I'm super weird and all over the place. But like, if you looked at me in album version, like, in a, like that, it all makes sense, you know? And the, the message is consistent. It's like, it's, it's got a theme, it's got a whole thing. Um, 